Chroma software includes an advanced auto-digitizing wizard located on the left-hand side of the top toolbar. To get started, open the auto-digitizing wizard. Then, select Browse and choose the design you want to use. When importing your design, for the best results, upload a vectorized file. For example, an Illustrator AI file or an SVG file. Then choose the Auto option and click Next. A new screen will appear, which will allow you to select the image size, rotate, or flip the image. Once you input the desired specs, click Next. Next, you will see all of the colors in your design in the Color Reduction screen. Here, you can select the colors that you want to digitize. Keep in mind, if your image has a white background, the software may automatically select white as a color. If this is the case, uncheck the white color box. Once you're happy, click Finish, and the design will appear on the screen auto-digitized. When auto-digitizing, you may have to edit your design in cases that the edges are bumpy or if certain parts were not digitized and are missing. Using a high-resolution file will help prevent this from happening. When the software auto-digitizes, the different elements of the design do not overlap. They only touch at the edges. This can cause registration issues when embroidered, which is when gaps form in between the two touching elements due to unforeseen shifting. To compensate for this, you must create an overlap of these two elements. To do so, select the object and click on the Reshape tool near the top of the toolbar. Once selected, points will appear around your object that you can drag to create an overlap. In this case, we are enlarging the orange flame to overlap the yellow flame. To do so, click on the points and hold Shift as you drag it to the desired position. To see the order that the auto-digitizing wizard has arranged the color stops, click the Sequence menu on the bottom right pane. The order of the color stops will appear in chronological order with the first color stop being at the top and the last color stop being at the bottom. Most of the time, you'll want to extend the element of the design that will embroider first. For instance, to create overlap with the orange and yellow, we extended the orange color since it will embroider before the yellow. Now, we will repeat this process to create overlap between the yellow and beige by extending the yellow since it will embroider before the beige. You can use the same technique you use to move the edges to create overlap in order to smooth out uneven edges of the design. Simply click on the point and hold shift as you drag it to the desired position.